Never had a moment where I ever questioned ya, questioned ya. You already know that I ain't never stressed with ya, stressed with ya. Got me and you own that. That's why I'm so impressed with ya, blessed with ya. If you ever noticed, I am not my best with ya, best with ya, yeah. Yeah, they know you're my heart. Yeah, they know I'm about ya. I hear when we're apart, 'cause I love me. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video about mental health. This is going to be my first video to um, a series of videos I'm going to be doing on mental health. Um, as you guys know, I added mental health onto my agenda for my YouTube. And it's kind of ironic that I'm going to be doing a video about this now because I literally, not even 10 minutes ago, just had an anxiety attack and I look fine, but I had like a mental breakdown, which turned into an anxiety attack, you know, normal adult, adult, just, I wanted to do this video to basically just kind of do a little bit of, um, informing and not only informing, but just for the people that also deal with mental um, issues or mental con mental health conditions, as myself, I do suffer from chronic anxiety, um, depression on and off, which has, of course, been a result of my anxiety and vice versa. And um, yeah, so I just want to speak about mental health mental and you know just dealing dealing if i keep looking over there it's because i'm making sure my camera is like doing what it's supposed to do but yeah so today's going to be the first video to that so if i look high i promise i'm not it's just because i just had a little problem i lost it a little second ago but it's okay because i'm back i had to get myself together to record this video because god works in mysterious ways okay I don't know if y'all are religious, but I am. And I know that everything that I'm going through and that I deal with is for a reason. Because God has a bigger plan for me. So, let's get into the video. First things first, I want to cover um, what it is that I deal with myself. Um, I deal with chronic anxiety. Um, generalized anxiety disorder. GAD. So I want to first clear this up for a lot of people because I see on social media all the time people like it's like people think it's like it's a trend. It's cute to have anxiety like it's like people don't really understand what anxiety is and I see a lot of people making jokes about it um, like when Summer Walker came out about it about her having social anxiety and I just think people are mad corny because that's not funny you don't understand the the things that you deal with you don't understand how hard it is to deal with anxiety for the simple fact that anxiety and anxiety disorder or any other mental illness is in your mind so if you can't grasp how it is to deal with something that is in your mind like you can't that's your mind that's your brain that is how you function everything that you do comes it starts up here so just imagine having to fight with your mind on a daily basis all day and of course it varies depending on the different mental um, um, disorders or mental illnesses or anxiety disorders first of all let me get to the nitty-gritty or whatever of what anxiety is in the first place so oh of course we all know anxiety is a feeling anxiety is a feeling it's something that all humans will have sometime in their life and when you're anxious or when you're you know there are different ways being nervous is a part that's if you're ever nervous you have anxiety if you're anxious you have anxiety like it's a feeling it's normal to feel that way but 
The problem comes in when it's a chronic thing. Like me personally, I deal with anxiety from the minute I wake up in the morning to the minute I fall asleep finally after fighting with my mom some days to try to fall asleep. Anxiety is overthinking. If you ever if you have if you're an overthinker, you have some sort of anxiety. You may not have it to the extent of some others but that is a type of anxiety overthinking everything always wanting to feel the need to be in control everything of everything because you people that deal with anxiety it's like we have to know what is going to happen next because we have to be prepared for it and that's like the hard part about it because you can't be prepared for everything and you're not going to know everything and if you are struggling with anxiety and you're struggling with overthinking and trying to take control of everything which is something that I deal with with my anxiety I cannot handle being uncertain about something because I will literally drive myself crazy trying to think of things that I have no control over from me waking up, there are some days that I wake up in the morning and I wake up with anxiety, like in the pit of my stomach. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Like, I just woke up. What is wrong? I just woke up. Why am I having anxiety? I have no clue. So, being having anxiety is being worried all the time. So, I'm going to give you guys the definition of anxiety for the people who don't quite understand it. Anxiety is a feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease, typically about an imminent event or something with an uncertain outcome. Which means 90% of the time we are worrying about things that we have literally made up in our head. Literally. And I'm a very optimistic person. Anybody that knows me knows that I'm very optimistic. I'm always about being positive and trying to find the good in things but my anxiety sometimes overweighs that and can cause me to be mentally think the opposite because my mind does what it wants to do like i saw this um i saved this like meme on this anxiety thing um anxiety page that i follow and it was basically like having anxiety is like no, being worried about a big tiger coming to bite your head off. You don't know what tiger it is. You don't know where the tiger is. You don't know when it's coming, where it's coming from, but you just know it's coming. Having anxiety is basically when your body um, goes into fight or flight. And so that ultimately causes anxiety attacks and panic attacks. Um, or like for me personally, my mental breakdowns, when I have mental breakdowns, we all have them. We're adults. Um, my mental breakdowns usually like turn into anxiety attacks or panic attacks. And I hate that, but that's just how it ends up for me because my body is like, something's wrong something's wrong she's worried she's worried let me go into fight or flight to protect her but i'm protect it's like my body is protecting me from my own mind so honestly it really sucks but i really wanted to um get into now the whole social anxiety thing for summer walker not even for her just because i understand her because there are a lot of people who don't understand the difference between, like, don't understand what anxiety are, is. I see, like, all these idiots on Twitter making jokes because Summer Walker puts up her cute little videos and her, um, her little, um, lingerie and stuff. And people are like, oh, she doesn't look like she has social anxiety. People who think it's funny to make jokes are dumb. You're ignorant. It's not funny. That's like making, that's like laughing at people for having depression. People kill themselves over anxiety all the time because anxiety and depression are linked together. Like even for me, I can think myself into a bad mood. I can think myself into 
depression and a lot of times when I have my anxiety episodes I'm like in a depressive mood and I can be in that for a month for days weeks sometimes months before I come out of it so a lot of mental health issues and mental disorders are linked together for the very reason that they are all in the mind and they simultaneously cause certain things to happen which all you know they all go together so the thing with summer walker is social anxiety is basically just anxiety but it's when you're around a lot of people so me personally another thing that i say it goes hand in hand because i am a very sociable person everybody knows i'm a social butterfly i talk to anybody and everybody i like to go out have fun have fun with strangers strange people i have not a clue who they are and you know be out twerking and doing all that with random people now there's sometimes out of nowhere where being around a lot of people will send me into like a freaking anxiety attack and this happened for the first time to me last jiho aggie pride my last jiho that i went to 2019 i was at a party i was at a next level party i always go to this party jiho it's like the lit spot we all go and it's always a lot of people but this particular time which i don't understand why it never happened to me before this particular time it was like I literally felt myself like that feeling of being claustrophobic. I'm not even a claustrophobic person, but my anxiety has me feel that way in certain in certain settings where it's too many people. If I go into if my body goes into this fight or flight response and I start having anxiety, I freak out. Like I will literally go into an anxiety attack and that's what what happened this one day. I was at the party and it was just mad people and I couldn't move and I'm you and like like I said I go to parties all the time it doesn't bother me but this one time for some reason I started like breathing real heavy because in my mind I'm just like I can't move I have to be able to move this is like I can't move what if something happens and I can't get out like I can't move so I literally went into like an anxiety attack and I flipped out and I started pushing people I'm like yo get out the way like I'm like bugging out and that was all because of my anxiety. So, just imagine Summer Walker feeling like that. She has social anxiety. And being in certain settings where it's too many people. And she can't control that. I couldn't control that. That never happens to me. So, for that to happen that one time, it was like, are you serious? And after that, I literally had to sit down and breathe and take a breather and like drink some water and all that because I literally had a whole anxiety attack in the club at 3 o'clock because it was a day, a day party. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, having a whole anxiety attack in the middle of the club with a cup in my hand, bugging out. So, you know, it can happen at any time. And I just wish that people would be... It be more understanding and more empathetic about things like that because you don't know what people deal with and the thing that bothers me the most for me is I don't like discussing it with a lot of people a lot of, like most people that are close to me know that I deal with it but there are only certain people that I will discuss it with for the simple fact that I know nobody understands if you don't deal with what I deal with, if you don't have anxiety, you're not going to understand anything that I'm saying to you. And it's not your fault, but it's just if you don't deal with it, you can't you're not going to understand it. It's just one of those things. And so I ultimately end up having to deal with it by myself because I feel like I'm the only one who understands me. And then it's great to have other people that I know that deal with it that I can speak to, but I don't like I don't know a lot of people that deal with it to the extent that I do. So I also wanted to basically just give some tips for people who um, have friends or family that suffer from anxiety or any other mental disorders. Um, being understanding and being patient, especially. If you are in a relationship with someone or you have a significant other 
who suffers from anxiety, you really have to be patient and understand. And being in a relationship with having anxiety, it's like you're always overthinking everything. You're thinking ahead, like, what if this person decides today he wants to leave me? Or what if, what did I do wrong? He's not tasting me back fast enough. What I do, it's not even about being insecure. This is what everybody needs to understand. Being in a relationship with someone who suffers from anxiety, you have to understand it has nothing to do with being insecure. I'm a bad, okay, I'm well aware of that. And I know that I could get, I'm not even trying to sound every gear. I'm just saying, like, I'm fire, okay? I'm fire. So, it's not even about being insecure. It's about my anxiety and my mind does what it wants to do. And so, for me, being with someone who understands and, like, really gets me is really important because it's going to be times where I'm going to be so emotional or sometimes I'm going to be so detached and sometimes I might just like you know what I'm saying be bugging out and I can't explain it to you all I can say is it's my anxiety and it's not an excuse it's just what it is that's literally what it is I literally and I look fine, right? You see how people always make jokes about, well, Summer Walker don't look. You don't know how, somebody's not always going to look. People kill themselves every day. And half the time when they do, it's always people like, wow, I didn't know. Yeah, everything doesn't, you're not always going to know. People don't show. And people be happy, come to work smiling all the time. Then a week later, you find out they committed suicide. It's why you really never know what people are going through. And so when people say dumb stuff, you'll <laughs> just watch this too. When people say stupid stuff like, oh, you don't look like you have anxiety or you don't look like. Girl, shut up. I don't have to look like it. Just literally, you guys, I just had an anxiety attack 20 minutes ago. I was on the floor, fell out on the floor. Literally, it started, it was a gradual thing. I was in a car, my Uber on the way back home. And I was crying. And I got in my house where I felt more comfortable crying because I was trying to hold it in, which is part of it too. And I just lost it. And I couldn't breathe. I'm like, <gasps> like hyperventilating. I fell on the floor. Like, it, you, it's crazy. It really is crazy. And people just need to be more understanding about if you don't deal with something you have absolutely no no room to speak on it period you don't have that room you don't have that room like shut up because it's annoying and it's disrespectful if you ask me like y'all sitting here making jokes about people that suffer from that people kill themselves because they can't control what's going on in their mind schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, anxiety disorder, depressive disorder, they're all mental. They're all the same. They're all like they're all very tough things to deal with and they are all in the mind. Everything is in the head. So just imagine dealing with that 24/7. You can't get out of your head. Your mind when it tells you something, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like be a little bit more understanding, guys. Literally, like, if you are dating someone who has anxiety, you just have to understand it is very, very hard for them. I can guarantee that. And it's for me, anybody knows me, like, when I start liking somebody, I'm running. I am running. Do you hear me? I'm hot and out of there. Because my anxiety is like, all the bad things that could possibly happen are going to happen. Like, I can't do this. I can't catch feelings. I'm one of them types, y'all. And that's, I, I'm big on astrology, so I'm going to let y'all know. Yeah. That's an Aries thing. People be saying we got commitment issues, which is kind of, but it's because we like to be in control and we need to know what's going on because I can't be out here hurting. I got stuff to do. But yeah. If you have a friend or a family member or a significant other that deals with anxiety or any mental health disorder, 
B. Don't be a jackass. Don't be a jackass. Just be understanding and be patient. If you really care about them and you really love them, you will be. But and no, we know it's not easy. But just imagine if you're annoyed, please understand how you got to understand how annoyed we are. It's in our own head and we can't do anything about it. But we have to deal with it. And I personally, my story, um, a lot of, some people know my story, some people don't. But I won't get into it um, in this video. I'm not ready to go there yet. But me personally, my struggle with anxiety and all of that began about seven years ago when my dad's accident happened and it gradually it was PTSD and then it gradually turned into anxiety um, it went you know and so it's like kind of PTSD is like a a temporary thing anxiety is a long-term thing and so it went from PTSD to anxiety now I have chronic anxiety and yeah it's just you just have to be understanding I'm going to be talking more about it on my channel but yeah um, this was kind of just like I said a little informative video ranting video a tip video all of that in one I just wanted to talk about it and for all of my babies that deal with anxiety or depression or bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, any of those, you are not alone. You are loved and you are cared for. And it will all pay off in the end. You have a story to tell. You never know. You can inspire somebody. And that is what I hope that I can do on my channel in this series i want to inspire somebody to know like it all happens for a reason and we are special those of us that deal with those things we are very special so for any of my babies that are going through mental disorders of any of the ones that i named or any other ones that i did not name like i said you are not alone you are loved you are cared for this too shall pass, and if I could do it, so can you, and trust me, because I know that there's a bigger plan for me, a bigger purpose for me, and I want to share with the people who think that there isn't one, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you took something from this, and yeah, if anybody has any questions or if you ever want to reach out to me, just, you know, if you need somebody to talk to or have any questions, I am here. That is what this video is for. So, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share this video for sure because somebody really needs to hear this and they may be one of your friends on Facebook or one of your followers on Instagram or Twitter. And they may need some extra love like I just did. Because I just gave myself the love that I needed. So. Alright guys. Bye.